Hello and welcome once again to Let's Make Tracks and our new segment for the channel, TT120 Rambler, where as the name suggests, I'm going to ramble on about what may or may not be going on in the world of 120. So let's begin. Okay, so first ramble ever, and I think it's only fitting that um, the first rambling will be regarding the uh, Hornby TT120 first year anniversary, which um, looking at this post in front of me now, I'm going to assume it's the 10th of October. I don't know the official anniversary off the top of my head so i'm going to say the 10th of october and i'm saying the 10th of october because it is um according to this post that you're going to be able to see up here fingers gone you'll be able to see it up there they're celebrating the one year anniversary of tt120 launch in the uk and it's the same day that they're going to reveal the winner for the hornby tt120 Diorama Challenge 2023. Obviously, I have entered myself. I've had confirmation that they've received my entry, and as far as that side is concerned, it's all gone well. So now it's just a case of maybe winning. <laughs> so we're just going to say it's a TT120. Well, it's right there in the post. It's a TT120 takeover day. So there is speculation online in the forums, which I've seen, that maybe we can get some surprise product reveals. Um, maybe some decorated samples of some of the stuff we already know about. Um, the elusive uh, Hornby Club exclusive wagon, which I know may or may not be to everyone's fancy, but I could do a lot with this. Uh, I could use it for my intros and other bits and pieces. So I, I would really like that wagon, even though, yes, it's a novelty. But, well, hey, I'm clearly into novelties. So, yes, Hornby TT 120 day, 10th of October. So, hopefully that pans out. And depending on what is revealed, hopefully, on the day, um, we'll be back with another Rambler to go over what we may or may not have learned. So again, fingers crossed that it's good. <laughs> Ramble number two. Next weekend is the Great Electric Train Show 2023, otherwise known as GETS amongst the uh, model railway community. 10 year anniversary and I have never been to one. I'm going to try my absolute best to get to this one because um, in the last few months I've come to learn that this is essentially a uh, model railway Christmas. Or well, that's to my understanding anyway. So I'm going to try my best to get down there. Um, I've seen and heard uh, a few YouTubers are going. Um, Jenny Kirk. Um, Wardle Road, Sam's Trains, um, I believe New Junction said he was going. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. I mean, those names alone are... Yeah, they are. They're model railway royalty in uh, the YouTube community as far as I'm concerned. Does Wardle Road do model railways? I can't remember off the top of my head. That's bad. <laughs> but either way, I've seen a post where he's uh, going. And also from my fellow 
TT120 community, Peachy120, has declared his attendance at Gets. So naturally, I would want to say hello and give a high five to my T TT brethren. Brethren. Brother. Brothers in TT. I don't know, I'm talking nonsense now. Again, ramble. So, Gets, uh, let's see. Uh, 30 layouts, more than 45 trade stands, demonstrations, and a free shuttle service from Milton Keynes Central Station and free parking. Although there is a football match on the Saturday, so uh, there is going to be some issue with parking. Uh, it will be at MK Don Stadium next door, which is also free. And yeah, I mentioned the shuttle service. So yes. Oh, and uh, Pete Waterman's making tracks. The colossal layout that none of us knew we needed. <laughs> All three layouts fused into one to form the mega layout. So that alone is worth a visit. Um, their last public outing was at the, um, I forget the name, it was at the Cathedral. And I believe that was only Making Tracks 3. So there'll be obviously Making Tracks 1, 2, 3, and then Mega Making Tracks. Now, you may think I've copied their name for my channel, but uh, just a little disclaimer here. I did not copy Pete Waterman's making tracks. I actually copied the BBC's making tracks from the 90s. It may be in the... La, 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 la. No, it was definitely the 90s, I remember. Uh, Bob Signs and uh, Jane... I've forgotten her name. But yeah, that is who I'm copying, not Pete Waterman, just... Just so you know. Although, happy accident. Right, so what's next? Um, as far as relevant TT stuff is concerned. Oh, um, at Gets, I believe I remember reading somewhere. It was a little while ago. So if I can find the post, it will be in the corner up there. That um, Hornby Magazine... We're going to be unveiling their new Hornby TT layout at Gets. We know about the older one. I have seen it in person as well at the Hornby Visitor Centre. It's quite nice. Oh, excuse me. But in all honesty, there were some. I say some, like they um, they sawed off a, a curve instead of using an actual set of points, and I just thought that I don't know. Once I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. I don't want to say it made the layout bad, but again, once I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. So I have high hopes for the TT layout that they're going to hopefully present. And again, if they're going to reveal stuff on Monday, again, fingers crossed, then hopefully that same, those same items will be at Gets on the new layout. I mean, it makes perfect sense. So again, even more reason for me to attend. Right, so that's the relevant stuff that you're probably actually interested in. <laughs> so this is probably where some viewers are going to switch off. What's next for Let's Make Tracks? So obviously we have the Rambler, which is uh, just starting now. Um, basically, I haven't been able to do as much physical work on the layout as I would like to for two reasons. One... I'm waiting for the results of the diorama challenge because I don't know. It's just on the off chance I win. Then I don't know what happens after that. If there's additional photos or anything like that, I don't know. I mean, it is done, but I mean, model railways, there's always something you can change. So that's reason number one. Reason number two is I've actually knackered my back. <laughs> For someone as young as I am, that shouldn't be something I'm saying out loud. Unfortunately, it is. So I haven't been able to do any actual modelling without being in quite a bit of pain. I'm actually just about getting away with sitting here doing this now. 
So this is a way for me to get content out without actually knackering myself further. So, yes. Uh, but long term plans, obviously, there's module two to extend the Spa Valley scene um, to give points going into the yard, uh, signal box, water tower, um, obviously the bridge, the town below. Yeah, so that's the immediate plan because it's already, for the most part, constructed. It's track and detail. I think it, as of right now, it looks exactly the same as when you may or may not have last seen it on my channel. But um, obviously, complete the loop properly. Um, I do have the polystyrene embankments at the moment, which I will probably use when it comes to making the proper modules. But for now, that's just so I can get trains running, so I can actually, you know, use the trains instead of just having Spa Valley block to look at. So the pl the original plan was to have eight modules altogether. I currently have one and a half. So obviously that's a long term goal, and I'll have to decide what kind of scene I want to do on the opposite two straights, and whether to copy a new junctions idea of making them compatible when you unfold them. But again, it's it's early days, and I've got a lot of flexibility at this particular moment. Um, reviews, well, I, th I don't like the word review. It's more in the spotlight kind of videos. Um, again, I'm doing a lot of uh, probably plagiarism here. Uh, quite similar to what Sam's Trains does, but um, focusing purely on the TT. So. Uh, strength tests i'm almost done working out how i'm going to do that i'm using the same system as he is using the um newton meter and i've built myself a newt o meter again bit of picture up here so i've got readings for the two locomotives i have currently i just need to work out what pulling force is needed for say one Mark one coach, but I have seven, seven. I have seven coaches all together at the moment, four of them being Pullman. And the meter is still giving me a reading of zero. So I'm unable to do any math to work out what the pulling power is for the locomotive. So might need a bit of assistance with that one. Um, I've sent out a few cries for help already, but um, we we'll have to get back to that one. Um, obviously, the detailing. Okay, I don't want to force my opinion on a model. I would like to present a model as like, here it is. This is what you get. This is what it can do. And instead of telling you you should or should not buy something, more along the lines of helping you make up your own mind if that's at all possible, keeping my own personal bias as out of the video as possible, if that makes sense. Um, I did have a few plans for some Halloween specials, but um, obviously with the back, that's come to a screeching halt as well, even though uh, one, the, the really in-depth project, um, is for the most part complete. I just needed to finish painting four figures and uh, do a little bit of wiring and put some pickups on a wagon for some lights. So that's obviously at the to stop. And hopefully I can still get that done by Halloween. But I did have some other plans as well, which I've, I've had to uh, fall by the wayside. There might still be potential to do it, but I don't know. It's What's it now? It's already the 7th of October, realistically speaking. I mean, it's possible if I had all the bits now, like right now, and the spine of someone my actual age. So, yeah, that's what the future of Let's Make Tracks is going to look like. So that will probably do for now. Um, I will hopefully be releasing another one of these ramblers uh, next week once we find out what comes of the um, TT takeover day. 
Um, yeah. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching me ramble about TT120, and I will see you again very soon. Goodbye.